Hey guys, welcome to MusicStoreLive.com. This is Guitar Tech Paul Comegno, and I'm here with Paul Reed Smith, and I finally get to ask him a whole list of questions I've been waiting years to do. So, do you want me to tell you the truth? You mentioned Ted McCarty, let's talk about him. He doesn't need much of an introduction. But what I want to know is, what was the single most important thing he taught you? <laughs> can you pick one? Yeah, of course I can. Okay, just um, one. I can pick one, but I, can I answer two? Of course you can. Okay, so we were moving our factory from one place to another. Yep. It was about a 25 minute drive with the tractor trailers. And we had lists of things to do and all the things we had to deal with moving and da 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 da. And I called him up, I said, Ted, you know, tell me, you've moved factories many times, tell me what it is that I need to be looking out for. And he said the most wildly, di I thought, you know, you, you need to make sure they're wired right, you know, the positions, you know, the, the new assembly line has to be drawn, whatever. He goes, you're gonna get pissed off, you're gonna get angry, <laughs> control your anger. I was like, oh my God. God, he ended up being right. Oh, I can imagine. Yeah, because yeah. because I, I'm convinced at this point that people get angry and they feel violated, and you know something didn't go the way I was promised, right? Right. And I I remembered what he said, so that was good. The other piece was extraordinary for on a guitar making basis. I got to interview him like you're interviewing me. How did they wind the pickups? How did they glue the tops on? Um, I'll give you an example. They used to glue the tops on with um, a microwave. And I, he, he, I, he said, you could walk around it with a light bulb in your hand without being plugged in, and it would light up. He goes, I don't think OSHA should let you do that anymore, <laughs> right? I mean, they were literally had, they were cooking the air, right? Um, uh, he said they were baking all their fretboards and the resin was all on the floor. I said, well, the, the, there were women winding the pickups using their hands. He says, no, we used machines. I said, pardon me? I mean, it blew away every concept there was. He, they used George Stevens winding machines to wind his old pickups. He answered every question that I ever wanted to know about how the old guitars were made. He, and when he started repeating himself, I knew I had all the stories. <laughs> so that was cool. And he was doing me a favor. He was handing the baton down. It was yeah. really cool. It was really cool. So you mentioned the V12, and I read a little bit about it. You described it as a nitro finish encased in a poly, or I'm paraphrasing it badly, but um, which is it? Is it nitro or poly? Mm -hmm. 